Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Before you adjust your screens, yes, I did cut my hair and I cut a lot of it off. I cut about six inches. And yes, I also straightened it, but that's temporary because frankly, this is a lot of work. <laughs> It's not permanently straightened in any way, so expect to see a curly again in the future. Although this does feel amazing. <laughs> if you do want to see a curly in next week's video, I suggest you subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell button, because then it'll notify you when I upload new content. You might also think about following my Instagram or my Twitter. Just follow the links down below. Those of you on there know that I actually uploaded a photo of me with my new hair back on Wednesday, so you got it days in advance. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why should I bother following you if you're going to be quitting YouTube anyway? And that's an excellent question, and the answer to that is, I don't know. <laughs> the grind of it sometimes does get to me. A video every week is hard to do. And I know there's some other creators out there who can pump out videos every day. That's not me. I have no team behind me helping me. Besides the few lucky close friends who get to preview my videos and give me a little feedback on them before I upload them, it's me, myself, and I bringing these to you every week. And of course, I don't think there's a YouTuber out there who hasn't felt this way at some point. But I haven't quit because of you guys. And since in the past I've shared with you the hater comments I get, I thought it was only fair that maybe this week I'd be a little more positive than I have been in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> and share some of the great messages of hope and inspiration I get from you. So you don't get to see all of them. Some of them are in the comments, but some of them are private messages to me. Now, before any of you freak out, I am not gonna reveal the identity of those people who send me those private messages, but I thought you might be interested in hearing some of them. And if it inspires you to send me a message, please do. I read everything, so it feels very personal between you and me, and I enjoy that a lot. So here's a private message I got not that long ago. Hi, I'm not generally good at messaging people out of the blue, but I enjoy your videos. It was catching up on them, and so you value people telling you that your videos and stuff help. I'm glad that you're out there. I'm glad you're a public figure for our community. Thanks for what you do and have a nice night. I can't even tell you how a message like that picks up my day. And thank you so much for being considerate enough to let me know how you feel. The next message is also another private message. It says, Melody, I stumbled across your YouTube channel. I think they meant stumbled and not stubbled. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that they weren't trying to throw me some shade. It could be very traumatizing for a transgender woman to say that you stumbled across her. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for being so honest and blunt about everything. Honest and blunt, I think, is a great way to describe my channel. I try to be as open with you guys as possible. What I'm feeling, and when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling up. And it's really great when you guys appreciate that, because I really put my soul out there every week. I try to concentrate on the good stuff about transition and being transgender, but every once in a while, there's a reality check video that points out some of the things that hurt, some of the things that are not so cool about transition. Now, here's one I really, really am tempted to, like, put up on my refrigerator when I'm feeling down. And it says, just wanted to remind you that you are appreciated you are loved. You are beautiful. You are needed. You are influential. You are inspirational. You are one of the few YouTubers I ever really watched from the beginning-ish. <laughs> I've really come to terms with my gender fluidity and identity by watching you and listening to the context of your videos. I'm a small enough YouTuber that I do think to myself sometimes, am I reaching anybody? Am I really making a difference? I will look back on this message and think to myself, these were the things that kept me going in those dark times when I felt like giving up. I mean, you know, somebody saying to you that they came to terms with something that was difficult for them. That kind of thing you can't put a price on. Now, this is a comment on one of my videos by River West one. River West. Blah. River West, you might think about changing your name to something that yeah, I can say a little more easily. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we love you, Maya, is because of videos like this, where you open up with your own vulnerabilities and experiences. I hope you realize that there is no way a therapist or professional help could ever help any of us in the same way that your videos do. Your positivity and playfulness on your better days, your intellect and wisdom, and your perspectives, and how you struggle with difficult realities, even post-transition, are absolutely priceless. Here's to your happiness, and I'll hug to help you cope with the losses you've experienced. You remain nothing short of awesome. No, River West, you're awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to tell that to me. If you saw my video last week, you saw that I talked about the pain of separation from my son and how it goes on over and over and over again. And when I feel like that, I have to be very open with you guys and let you know how I'm feeling. Because yeah, I could make a happy, happy video, but I'm not really that good an actress to be able to pull that off in those times. And it's great to know that that is connecting with you. Every once in a while, I get messages that break my heart. And this was one of them that I got not that long ago. You are so brave. I wish I could be like you. I'm a 53 year old with three children and a wife in trans, but hiding it. I wanted to be a girl since elementary school. And just like you realize that it's not that I love girls, it's that I want to be them. I'm thinking lately that I will make an appointment with my doctor to talk. Now she doesn't say it explicitly in this message, but I can almost feel the fear. I mean, can you imagine being 53 with three kids in a life? There is a secret that you have that you haven't told anybody. I've been there and it's just an awful place to be. And kudos to you for sending me a message because when I was you, I don't know if I could have done that. And just so you know, not everyone who contacts me is a transgender woman. Sometimes I get contacted by you trans guys out there too. Hey Melody, I'm a 16 year old FTM trans man. 
I just wanted to say that I'm so glad I found your channel. It helps me cope with the dysphoria I feel. And I just wanted to let you know that it's important to know and acknowledge that you're never alone with the struggles of being transgender. There's another trans guy who goes to my school who I have a crush on, but he hardly ever looks happy. Do you maybe have any tips on a way I could cheer him up? Now I did write Ethan back and give him a little bit of advice on what he might do, but really he answered his own question in the message he sent me. I put a video out there and it helped him. It helped him feel less alone with his dysphoria. So I told him to reach out to this trans guy and maybe they would both feel less alone together. And it's great that Ethan's first instinct was to help this other trans guy. I've been blessed with this platform. What makes it even better and more powerful to me is the fact that sometimes it's like throwing a rock into a lake. The ripples just keep going out. I like calling it the great circle of trans, you know? <laughs> People helped me when I started. Now I help other people, and then they help other people, and it just keeps going. Next message. Today is one year since I started hormones. Now I am living full time, including gender change. I wanted to say thank you for answering all those questions you are too embarrassed to ask, or didn't know who to ask. Keep up the good work. That's another aspect of my channel that I try to emphasize. No questions are off limits. Sometimes, yeah, my videos can be a little sexy, but you know, who doesn't think about these things? We can deny it all we want, but I have found in these conversations assumptions that I never even realized were out there come up. I I can tell somebody that I've had bottom surgery, but what that means to somebody, I have no idea. Sometimes to them it means that I have something that looks like a vagina, but doesn't actually work like one. And how does that kind of question get answered? You know, where are you going to go to find it? I'll tell you where, my channel. <laughs> Here's another inspirational one for me. Hey Maya, hope you're okay. Love your videos because you are the only person who truly inspired me to see brightness in my transition. I'm 35 years old and it hasn't been easy at all and this decision will cost me my family and friends. But I can't live my life pleasing the world knowing I'm dying inside. I knew I was different since I was four or five and that produced a lot of physical abuse. I grew up thinking that I was wrong and I shouldn't think about being a girl. But I didn't like what I see in the mirror for 30 years. These messages make me emotional. I know what it's like to feel like that. And the the fact that I could do that for that person means more to me than I can really say. Hey Maya, I just want to let you know I love your videos. They inspired me a lot and educated me on the subject of transgender people. One of my friends is in transition and your videos have helped me a lot to understand what she's coming from and why she's feeling this way. And as a result, I've been able to be there more for her and realize what she's really going through. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my intro video, but one of the things I make a point of saying is that this channel isn't just for transgender people. It's for people who want to know something about transgender people and love transgender people. So please tell your non-trans friends about me. <laughs> Because it's easy to talk to ourselves, it becomes like one big echo chamber. This one I included because I get this comment a lot. I love your laugh. Everyone is commenting this. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what it is about my laugh or my smile that people find so attractive, but I'm certainly glad you do. Lately, I've actually been thinking about coming out with like a two minute video of just me laughing. Cause I know when I hear somebody laughing, it makes me feel better about myself. So I hope I'm doing that for you. Now, not every message I get is exactly, hmm, shall we say chivalrous. You look too hot. Can I know you more? Send me sexy movies. Hard sex movies. <laughs> Um, how about no? I guess these are guys who are frustrated by my videos where I said that I'm naked for this or that I'm masturbating with that. And as a lesbian, I hope one or two women too. <laughs> This message I am not going to put up on the screen because she identifies herself by her first and last name. But she says, hello, my name is Kimberly and I want to thank you for the videos. They have been a source of understanding of myself and the trans world in general. I am also a lesbian and because of your video and how lesbians flirt, I am now in a healthy, committed relationship and I would have missed the signal she was sending my way. Thank you again. How awesome is that? Oh my god, I was like a virtual wing woman. <laughs> Kimberly, now I need you to come to Orlando and be my wing woman. Now I want to end on this message because it's so incredibly powerful to me. Hi Melody, I just wanted to tell you that you're one of the most inspirational and amazing people that I've ever followed. You are so down to earth and real. I began watching your videos when I started rehab a year ago and something about you is just so fun and soothing to watch. As well as being so eye-opening is that the daily life and sometimes the struggles of trans women. You are absolutely 100% amazing. And I wrote her back and I asked her how rehab went so she wrote me back and said, rehab went great and your channel has brought me so much more than you could ever know. You made me laugh and think during the hardest times of my life. You will always be my favorite YouTuber. <sighs> I, I mean, I really have no words for that. This is somebody who isn't even trans, but found some joy and laughter in my videos. And don't we all need a little bit more happiness in these times? So am I going to quit YouTube? Not today. And especially not as long as you guys keep sending me amazing messages like these. But it is really difficult and I do it for virtually no pay. This is not my full-time job. And sometimes if you count on a new video or what I want, or maybe my subscriber growth really tanks and it makes me feel very discouraged. And when you send me these things, you let me know that what I'm doing matters. So please feel free to comment below or send me a private message. And on that note, see you around the interwebs.